Hi, my name is Fraser and welcome to Graphic Card Repairs. So today we have this RTX 3090, this is Zotac and uh, this one is not getting detected. So let's start off with measuring the uh, resistance on the PCI slot and as you can see uh, we don't have any shots on uh, the, the 12 volts and the 3.3 uh, volts. Let's start off with the 8 pin, the first pin. Uh, we don't have any shorts and the second 8 pin we can see that we have a dead shot so I will have to open this up and uh, start off from there okay so uh, the card has been opened it looks a little bit weird uh, looks like some kind of uh, water damage uh, let's take a look under the microscope. Let's start off from the left and uh, everything looks clean this side. Uh, something on the fan connector there, but apart from that, there's nothing much to uh, see there. As I move ahead, nothing on the MOSFETs. Let's take a look in the other areas there. Uh, towards the 8 pin, there's nothing, but uh, as I see here, next to the 5 volt uh, line there's a lot of oxidation that has happened here looks like uh, due to some water it looks bad but uh, let's continue taking a look at the back and we have a nasty big patch here uh, this is where the 12 volt connects and it, it looks really bad. This could be the cause of the short circuit, very much possible. Uh, there's a lot of oxidation, corrosion, everything possible that you can see here. And this looks like a burn. And it's a bad one. It could be that something has shorted there because that connects to the uh, inductor. towards the GPU side. Okay, so let's clean this thing up. Let's see if, uh, you know, how bad this thing is. Uh, apart from that, nothing much that I can see here. Just a few bad, uh, you know, shots here and there. Looks like something must have sparked uh, looking at, at the marks. Okay, uh, let's take a look at some resistance. We'll start off with the same old 8-pin and uh, we'll continue. So starting off with the first 8-pin where we don't have a short and the second one, it's a dead shot. So it's 0 ohm. So that's the 8-pin that is short and this shunt resistor connects to the same 8-pin and it is shorted here as well. Uh, possible that it's uh, the, the back side also connects to the same shunt resistor uh, but I don't have the diagram in front of me, so probably I'll take a look at it later. Looking at the 5 volt, and we don't have a short on the 5 volt. 5 volt looks clean. 1.8 looks good, and the PEX also looks good. Okay, so let's clean this off and uh, let's take a look what's hiding underneath there. So I'm just using isopropyl alcohol. This is 99.9% .9 uh, isopropyl alcohol. I'm just brushing it off so that uh, I can get rid of the oxidation and uh, I'll be able to take a look. It doesn't look that bad as it looked earlier. The mark there is still, it's not going, looks like it's a burn mark, could be a burn mark. Okay, so time for some voltage injection and I'm going to use 1 volt and 4.5 amps. Let's see if it shows anything and absolutely nothing. So it's not showing anything. So I've increased the voltage to 5 volts. Let's see if anything shows up now. Turning it on 
and there you go so it's the second mosfet from the bottom okay so let's prepare the card to remove this mosfet Okay so the mosfet has been removed let's uh, measure the resistance and check if our short is gone checking the resistance now and as you can see our short is gone okay so uh the thing is i don't have this mosfet in stock uh but uh, let's boot the card up and uh, let's take a look if we get a picture so the card is detected and we have a picture so i'll turn this thing off and uh, put it back on the bench okay so uh this particular mosfet i don't have it in stock so i'm ordering the mosfet now it will take about uh, 20 or days and i'll get back to you then okay so the mosfet has arrived so for you it has just been about a second or so just the switch and this is the mosfet uh so i will go ahead and start to prepare this mosfet for installation let's take a look under the microscope here's the mosfet let's start to install it
Okay, so the driver MOSFET has been installed. Let's inspect the work and check if all points are connected. It looks good to me. Okay, so everything looks okay. Um, let's switch over. The board is still hot, so I may have to wait for it to cool down. Uh, I'll just place this board here and uh, wait until the temperatures lower to an acceptable level. Okay, so I almost missed to measure the card before I install the entire cooler. So let's take some resistance. Okay, uh, this thing is blocking in or it's in the way. Uh, let me reposition the multimeter. Let's check again and we don't have a short. Our short is gone. Okay, let's also test the other point, the other 8 pin. And we don't have a short there either. Okay, so we are good here. Uh, let's assemble the cooler. Okay, so the cooler is assembled. Let's put this card on the bench and uh, test this card out. So the card is on the bench. Let's boot it up. The fans are spinning. And we have a picture. So I'm going to boot into Windows now. Booting into Windows, I'm waiting for the drivers to install. There you go, the drivers have been installed. So I'm going to stress test this card uh, and uh, you know check if everything is working fine. Uh, I'm going to load Heavens and also run Fermac along with it. Uh, all the sensors are looking good to me and uh, everything looks okay. Uh, so apart from this, I'm just going to run this card for about an hour under stress and uh, if it survives the test you know this card is going back to its owner so uh that's about it for this video i hope you like this video if you do like this video please hit the like button and don't forget to comment i do reply to all comments in on my videos so that's about it thank you for watching have a good day bye for now cheers